Finally, today we are wrapping up the show with a few words about Women's History Month, which is happening right now, and I'm going to start with a quick story. Years ago, I remember bringing up issues of sexism and online harassment and how they affect women, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, on social media. And a man brought his keyboard courage to the conversation and said, I didn't realize you were one of those women's libbers. Goodbye. Just a reminder, you never have to announce that you're leaving on social media. Just, just go, women's libber. This was maybe 10 years ago, maybe not even that. That was it for him. And it was very interesting for me because I was suggesting that at the very least, women are worthy of respect. And that made him uncomfortable. That made him uncomfortable in the 21st century. What's your point, Kate? That really is a point in and of itself, but since you asked, I will go on. What this prickly little exchange demonstrated to me and why it is embedded so deeply in my tender heart and mind is that it reveals something that is all too true. No matter how far you have come, it can take a while for cultures with their long-held traditions and attitudes and beliefs to catch up. And it seems like they are never in a very big hurry. And why? Well, some people like to point to the theory that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Do you know who's credited with popularizing that phrase, by the way? Some guy named Bert in the Carter administration. Meanwhile, in the words of Rafiki from The Lion King, change is good. And while that, again, may depend on who you ask, Women's History Month is a great chance to look back and celebrate the women who dared to imagine a different world. One's not afraid to actually insist that the so-called fairer sex actually get treated fairly without double standards or strings attached. Women not afraid to cast themselves as the main characters in life. Women not afraid to share their big ideas and the women still working to normalize it all. Not acting like it's some big deal or miracle or special circumstance if a woman does something that is not considered traditional. And she's a woman. And let's be honest, we are still working on that. So here is to a celebration of Women's History Month and all the women and girls who continue to inspire and all of the humans who continue to support other humans in doing good stuff. All right, I'm going to jump off the soapbox. Thanks for being here. I'm Kate Wellshofer. Be well, stay well. We'll see you next time. <laughs>